Hi hey guys, Anime Lover here, and today we have a huge, <clears throat> huge box from Angry Fox. Oh, <clears throat> damn, sorry. This box cost me $300. It was supposed to be for my birthday, but it got here early, like two to three days ago early. And I'm just not in the right state of mood, mind, mood, whatever, <clears throat> to open it. But I thought, hey, why not? Let's open it because it's staring me in the face. But yeah, this cost me $300. And if you're familiar with this company because of my boxes, <clears throat> damn, I just got done eating like hot Cheetos, like Takis. So my mouth is like on fire. Um... You know this anime company is like great. They have a store actually now. So but um I mostly order them online because I'm in a different state than their store. Anyway, um they have stuff from like pocket knives to anime merch to Nightmare Before Christmas to like full-blown swords. One of these days I swear she's going to send me a sword and I'm not going to know what to do with it. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, they carry like Pokemon, they carry like uh Harry Potter, they carry Nightmare Before Christmas, they carry Rem, they carry some I, I think I've gotten Black Butler. I got a Black but Butler tapestry hanging in my room from them. I've sometimes gotten Inuyasha, they just I get all kinds of shit from them. So if you see something in in this box, excuse me that you like, go on their website. I'll link the website below, their Instagram, their Facebook, all of it. And use my discount code. That'll get you like 15% off your entire order. Moving on. Now I was told to be careful while opening this box, but I don't even know where to start. Okay, there we go. I found it. Oh, and this company loves to tape the shit out of their boxes. One of these days, you're just going to send me an, um, a sword, some bubble wrap, and a shit ton of tape. <laughs> I should just really invest in a box cutter. Okay, I barely even cut it open and it's tearing itself apart. <clears throat> Which is like a first because normally I have to hack into this thing like Michael Myers. Ironic. Ironically. It should make a TikTok account like advertising some of their stuff. That'd be cool. There we go. I feel something fluffy, and if you sent me a stuffed animal, we're gonna have a problem. Really? <laughs> it's a giant ice cream cone! I, I can't be mad at you for this. How do I even open it? Like, it is legit a giant fucking ice cream cone. Um, <laughs> I think I'm actually going to keep this. So, oh, you 
super soft. Now, sometimes they have the price tags on these things. But this time I'm not seeing one. That's okay. No biggie. Normally, so with when it comes to stuffed animals, my rule is if it's too bulky for me to cuddle with, yes, I sleep with stuffed animals. I don't give a shit. Moving on. If it's too bulky for me to cuddle with, because I sleep like this, basically where my arm's like this, I'll sell it. Which is why I'm currently selling my some of my Build-A-Bear Pokemon at the moment. But anyway, um, I'll sell it. And this guy, he's kind of just right for me to just... So he gets to stay! Which is awesome because he's just so cute! He's an ice cream. Yeah, he's an ice cream cone. Okay. He's so cute. Hope my dog doesn't decide to claim him. Okay, next. Looks like it's a backpack. Yep, because here's the straps. This is so cute! I collect mini backpacks and I literally kind of want to keep this and use it as a mini backpack. Let's see, how much is it? It's from Sanrio, so I, it's got to be up there. There's no price tag on this. Yeah, I think, you guys, I think I'm going to use this as it's not like a legit like lounge fly or anything but it's legit Sanrio so I think I'm gonna use this I'm gonna put it up on my wall as part of my mini backpack collection I mean there's two technically three because one of them won't hang on my wall and then the rest are in my bedroom so I'm literally gonna hang this guy up and make him part of my collection. Good job, Stacy. Oh my god! If you got any more of these, I'll take them. Oh my god! I kind of just made my day, and I'm not even done yet. Oh my god, is this a fucking Kyo figure? Looks like it. He is... It better not be $79. Okay, $20. <laughs> I was supposed to say, if this tiny ass thing is $79, we need to have, um, we might have a problem. It looks like a Kyo figure. Maybe? I can get them open. can't tell. <gasps> I think it's a Kyo figure, you guys. I don't know. You tell me. Oh, God. He, he came up. Okay. 
There we go. He's very, like, easily able to take apart, so just be careful. I think it's a Kyo figure. I'm, like, 90% sure he's Kyo. But knowing me, I'm completely wrong. And then here's his... Maybe it'll tell me on the stand. You have to get the, like, angle right to be able to fucking read it. Hang on. And we're back. Okay, so yes. This is Kyo. Um, apparently he, he is $20 and... I guess he's incredibly hard to find. Um, I'm not entirely sure why. I guess because he's just very rare or something. Um, I had to talk to the uh, cre the owner of the shop because her and I are like besties now. So, because I promote her and buy stuff, and I even met her at a couple conventions here. So. All right, come on, Kion Kion. What the? All right, let's see if we can get this bad boy on his. Stand here. What the hell? I miss something in here? No? Okay, well, I guess it doesn't really matter what side of the stand you put him on. Because he's only going to stand on one side. I cannot stretch his legs out any further. Um, because if I do, I'm going to break him. So... Yeah. Um, which is fine. He's just gonna sit in my cabinet anyway. But yeah, he's very, like, flimsy and... Not, like, flimsy. He's really good material. But, like, he doesn't stand on his stand very well. But he, if you leave him there to just stand still. Come on, Kyo! Would you stay fucking still? Yeah, Kyo, you're giving me problems here, buddy. I don't like it. Uh, 
Yeah, so once you get him in there, don't fucking touch him. Don't move him. Just set him there and leave him the fudge alone. Ta-da, there he is. Okay. I'm keeping this so when I move, I can just shove him back in there. Okay, moving on. Oh, okay. Oh, I got some more stickers. I was originally going to start putting these on my bathroom door, but I decided to stop because we're eventually going to be moving. So I just collect stickers now for either like my own personal... Uh-oh. Shit. Okay, well, we're going to play Follow the Leader. We have to go the long way because the box is in my way. That's okay. So we got this. Um, problem, though. <laughs> I forgot to send her a picture of the Inuyasha magnets that I own. So it's my fault. And, um, I already have it. <laughs> so, yeah. Where is it? There we go. So, yeah, it's going in my, um, um, box of random anime stuff because I already have it. But that's okay. Thank you for trying. Oh, and just so for your future reference, the shit I don't sell goes over here. Mainly in those four. And that. Giant fucking pile. We have the bow wrap, the pile, that, and those are my anime figures. And Disney figures. So there you go. Because I know a few of you were wondering those mainly on TikTok, but you know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Stickers. Oh, and you read the baby penguinos. I love these. I love anything penguins and like flamingos. So and these are penguinos. So yes. Those are pretty awesome. This is a. Hello Kitty, um, something. I'm trying to open it just so I can see what the hell it is. Okay. It's like a Hello Kitty, like, cloth. Which I'm going to keep because, um, I can use them for pretty much anything now, so... I can use this to clean my phone. Not a huge Hello Kitty fan, but you never know what that'll come in handy for. God damn. How much shit did you send me? Um, I think these are just notebooks. No. What the f Sailor Moon Crystal. The fuck? What the? It's 
in Japanese. <coughs> Dude, this is literally in Japanese. Is it like manga or something? Or character arcs or is it manga? It looks like manga. I... I'm gonna have to f find out what these are because like I'm so. Is it like Sailor Moon D and D or something? Seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and one. Has anybody seen these before? And like, what the hell are they? Because I have no idea what the hell these are. They're cool. But I feel like, what are they? Just like character arcs or like D&D &D cards or something? I don't know what these are. <laughs> I have no idea. You. Coloring book? Oh, no. I'm like, coloring book? <laughs> Those do exist, by the way. Sailor Moon coloring books. I put them in my own mystery boxes before. Okay, well, let's find out what this is. Sticker book? Oh, no. It's had it upside down. You know, that would help if I had it the right side up. It's Pokemon. They're blank. So I guess you could use this. Oh, Kyo, you're falling over. I guess you can just use this as like, like a drawing thing or a sticker book maybe. So giving this to a friend, she's gonna love it. Guys, we're not even halfway done yet. I'm saving all these figures for last. Buggy! I've been dying to open these just because I knew there was chocolate inside. So from now on, every box that I buy from you, honey, just send me all the Pocky. Just all the Pocky. I gotta do another food box from her. Maybe that's what I'll do for my birthday. We were gonna go... No. Maybe I'll do that for August or September. So, chocolate Pocky. We're, we're, I think next box for July we're planning to do like a summer themed. Yee! Strawberry Pocky! Yay. Those are my two favorite flavors. Oh yeah, isn't this like the double chocolate Pocky or something? Yes. Yes! More Pocky! Just keep it coming, please! Where are my ice cream cones? If I don't get my ice cream cones, I'm gonna have a fit. What in the mother f Okay, it's... it's... Seven... Eighteen dollars, whatever it is. I think it's a Pokemon thing because I see Gengar. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Da, 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 da. Oh, 
Ow, balls. Okay, so they're like little... It's like a Pokemon, like, figure kit. That's kind of cool. You build the house. Is this fucking Legos? Okay, no, it's not. <laughs> that would have been cool, though. And then you put them inside it, I think. That's kind of neat. I like this. This is something different that you don't see all the time. Good job. I like it. Where's my ice cream? Anyway. Oh, we have a Sailor Moon something. It's all in Japanese. And Misa Country Japanese. I can't open this without damaging it. I guess they're little figures or something. But I want to know who I got. Fuck it, I'm opening it. I got what's her name? Sailor. Um. God damn, what is her name? Neptune. She's not one of my favorites, but they're cute, so. How the fudge do you get them to stand up? Oh, there it is. I'm like, how do you get them to stand up? <laughs> I didn't open the, the little, what you call it. I'll send this to a friend of mine. She loves, like, Venus and Uranus. Or not Venus. Neptune and, uh, what you call it. Uranus. Uranus. She won't care that it's open, especially if I tell her it's for, like, a mystery box thing, so I'll just give that to her when she orders from me. Yay! So I sold all of my Sailor Moon shit back in the day because I was part of a Sailor Moon roleplay and everybody just ticked me off and I'm just like, no more Sailor Moon ever! And of course, like everyone predicted, I would regret it, and I do. However, I'm slowly rebuilding my collection Let's see who I get. God damn! I got Chibi Moon, and she's like one of the worst fucking characters I hate. I prefer her all grown up. Not as a black lady, she's even worse. 
fucking incest. Anyway, but I prefer her all grown up as like adult chibi moon. Or small lady, whatever. Because I, I would, like, if I were to cosplay her, I would cosplay her as, like, the adult version with the long, basically adult. You all know what I'm talking about, okay? So. But, yeah, no, they're not my favorite. Ooh, hand sanitizer. And it's Sailor Venus. Cool. I'm gonna keep this for sure. Ooh! It's like a pride heart notebook. I love that. Will I ever use it? Probably not, but I know somebody who will. Just more shit to add her to her box. <gasps> Ears! <sighs> Y'all, if I didn't have fucking Mickey pride ears to wear, because we get to do pride at work this weekend, I would so be wearing these! <laughs> Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Love it. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Trista. Or also known as, um, oh, what is her name? In the Japanese one, or crystal, or redub, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Sailor, um. God, I'm just having a fucking blonde moment today. That needs to change. I swear, every time I have my hair blonde, my natural color, my stupidity comes out. And I don't like it. That's why my hair is always different colors. Pluto. Sailor Pluto. I like her. That's cool. Oh, another figure. Oh, it's a Yuri. Or <laughs> God damn, I'm so goddamn dumb. Victor! It's Victor! Putting him on my keychain. He's gonna go in here. Thank you. Oh, who do we have here? Let's see, who's this? Is that itty bitty little Yuki? It is itty bitty little Yuki. I love Yuki. He's my favorite character. I ship Yuki and Toru. Don't get me wrong. I love Toru with Kyo, but I love Toru with Yuki. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas. Let's see here. We got. Where's my scissors? What do I do with my scissors? I'll just wear these in the month of June regardless. Come on, Jacker Oogie Boogie. Jacker Oogie Boogie. I swear to God, if it's Sally, I'm gonna be pissed. Who in the hell is this? This is Nightmare Before Christmas, right? Yeah. It is, but somebody tell me who the fuck this is, and I've seen Nightmare Before Christmas 20,000 fucking times, and I have no idea who this is. No idea. So if somebody could give me a hint, that would be fucking beautiful. Because I have no idea who it is. 
That will be going in the random anime shit for sure. <gasps> oh my god, is this a Black Butler watch? Because if it is... I might just save it for nostalgia because trying to find anything black but <gasps> Oh yeah. How do you open it? You know, Nikki, you can read instead of just staring at shit. It's an LED watch. <gasps> and it's got Grace on Cliff on it. She's bad ah! Oh, okay. How much was this? This was only ten dollars plus tax, so maybe like twelve. <sighs> Would I ever use it? Probably not, but I'm super excited. She secretly hates when I order from her because I haven't seen any new anime. So whenever I give her my anime list, she's secretly screaming, God damn you, inside. This is awesome. Like, I'm obsessed. Oh, Kyo, I don't want to knock you over. Okay. Okay. The fact that I didn't get my ice cream cones, and you know which ice cream cones I'm talking about. Come on. Come on. You better have been out of stock. Moving on to the big ones. Okay. Next we have a, looks like Rem. Oh, nope, it's a Hatsumi Miko. Noodle stopper. You know, I'm surprised because my last pink one didn't sell very well, but that's okay. I don't see a price tag on this one, but here you go. <laughs> These are always cute. I have a niece who used to love this character, and she can shove it up her ass. How is there no price tag on this? Oh well. If you want a chance to buy it from me, my link will be down in the um the link to my Makari will be down below. Okay. I'm just pulling shit out. Next we have This is kind of a summer one. I literally just told her to throw anime figures in a bikini. And that's exactly what she did. Um, let's see, who do we have? Can I have a name, please? An EXQ figure? Can I have her name? Oh well, I'm sure I'll get the name of her eventually. So here she is. I feel like her box is bigger than the actual figure. I'll get her name from the person who sent her to me. And um, yeah, we will go from there. I still don't see a price tag. But well, that's okay. I'm assuming these figures go anywhere from... Oh, wait. She is $30. $29.99. Which is what I was... Yeah, anywhere from like 25 to 50 bucks are most figures. Unless, you know, you go... There was an Urza figure she was going to send me. 
which was like 200 and something dollars. And I'm like, I don't want my box be going to be like, you know, just <laughs> one figure. But <laughs> maybe if we're lucky, <clears throat> maybe if we're lucky and enough people use my discount code, I can get like a free box and maybe she'll just send me the figure. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, okay. They have another Hatsumi Miku figure. I want a price tag. This one's cute. This one, she's really cute in this little dress she's wearing. Can we get a price tag, please? I'm assuming it's in the same price range as the other one. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna get. And we have the last figure in here. And we have a Ren because she's pink. I think that's how it goes. Can we have a name, please? A name? A name. Well, she's dressed as like a bunny girl. But I would like a name. Okay, well, I guess we're not getting a name. But, because Rem is blue and Ren is pink. So I think this is Ren. I did ask her to sell send me a Rem slash Ren, so... And I'm glad I got one. At least I got one little figure out of this. It is a little Kyo. She's cute. I like her. And again with no price tag. Okay, well, I think that's everything. Yes, that is everything. And holy crap, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this box. My favorite thing definitely out of this is my little video buddy over here. Yes. And then the ears. And then the backpack. And then the plushie, and then the candy. Um, I don't really have a least favorite thing when it comes to these boxes. But if I had to pick one, it would probably be that Nightmare Before Christmas bag clip. Just because I don't know who it is, and I've seen Nightmare Be Before Christmas like a thousand goddamn times. But I just don't know who he is. And it bothers me. So... And then the second least favorite thing is the Chibiusa, because I just don't like Chibiusa. So, but yeah, if you saw something you like on here, um, go shopping, use my discount, discount code, 15% off your entire order. If enough people order, I get a free box, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll get that $200 figure. <laughs> I doubt it, I seriously doubt it. The free boxes that they send me are completely and utterly random. I have no idea what's in them. Granted, these are random too, but at least I get to pick some of the franchises, like Fruits Basket. So, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. My next box will be in July. That'll be kind of completely random, more summer themed. Or if you guys want, comment down below and let me know. Do you want me to do a food box instead? A summer box? Or another franchise, my franchise box. Let me know in the comments below. Um, let me know kind of soon, within the next couple days. So I can be like, hey, this is what my viewers want to see. Um, you know, it could be any type of box. Let me just, just, from now on, just let me know. What kind of boxes do you want to see from this company? And if I don't hear from you, I'll just pick, hey, do this kind of box instead. No big deal. I have a feeling you guys love these boxes. 
<laughs> anyway, so there it goes right back in my face. <laughs> But anyway, I love doing these type of videos from you. My Bibbidi Disney box is coming soon. If there's a mystery box that you miss on this channel, please let me know and I'll try to bring it back. Just letting you know that the Supernatural and Pusheen box will not be coming this summer. I couldn't afford it because they decided to spring it on me at the beginning of the month where all my other bills came out and I just couldn't afford it at the time I was hoping to come out later so I could afford it but they did decided to go surprise not so unfortunately no summer boxes besides um this box and Disney uh just keeping you updated hope you guys enjoyed this very long ass video <laughs> I kind of enjoyed making it and showing you my little hoarding corner um you guys are awesome bye